ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today on the happy and auspicious occasion of laying the foundation stone of the new cottage hospital that has been so kindly promised to the village by Lady Barkett. I'm only so sorry her ladyship is unable to be with us today, but you may or may not know that her ladyship was only let out this morning, and the doctor of the home told me in confidence that she may find the strain of financing the hospital too much for her, as she's still very busy with the three cathedrals, the railway station and the ornamental bathing pool, which she promised to the mayor of Peacehaven before she was actually certified, well, well, earlier in the year. I dare say that some of the more critical members of my audience may think it a little peculiar that there's no foundation stone here to lay. But as a matter of fact, the contractor has turned rather nasty because he holds that if Bargain, Lady Bargain, can't pay cash for the foundation stone, he doesn't stand much of a chance for the rest of the building. But that is his affair, and I am here in my capacity of mayor to perform the ceremony, stone or no stone, especially as this is the first opportunity which I've had of done in my new mayoral robes. The old ones, as you know, were very badly torn during the rush after the fire of the brewery last year. Now, it's her ladyship's wish that the hospital should be as comfortable as possible, and both draught and bottled beer will be served in the observation ward during the usual license hours, and our patients will be admitted on payment of a small fee. Her ladyship particularly wishes the younger generation to cooperate with her in keeping the hospital as quiet and peaceful as possible, and she wishes all young people to refrain from throwing stones at the operating theatre windows during the times of operation. And to facilitate this, she is arranging for a red light to appear over the porch of the hospital when operating is in progress. So all you young people, when you see the red light, no stones if you please. I may say that the dietary of the hospital will be at the finest, and I am myself supplied a choice line of tin salmon which, ladies and gentlemen, it may interest you to know, I am selling at my emporium in the ice street at the ridiculously low figure of 7% and 5% of tin and pink and red, whichever you prefer. I may say that I am myself somewhat of an authority on tin salmon, and as you know, I've spent a lot of time studying the habits and habitats of this succulent and elusive denizen of the deep in its river haunts. And I should like to take this opportunity of announcing that the very nasty rumours that have been going about to the effect of my holiday in Dartmoor last year was for any other purpose, I like this hospital entirely without foundation. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I feel I'm slightly stern about it. And in my capacity of mayor, it's my very painful duty to protest very strongly against the pilfering that has been going on in the town all of late. We all know that several marriages are coming forward in the early spring, and I'm sure we all wish the parties concerned if we could wish that we can wish. But I must say, I was very surprised and hurt on visiting the town hall on Thursday to find that nearly all the chairs and tables, half the library and most of the expensive floor cabins had been, so to speak, spirited away. And only yesterday, I was horrified to view from my moral residence a pentechnicum drawn up outside the town hall with the reading desk, a statue of Lady Bargain in bronze and a new organ. And without casting aspersions where they are not true, I may say that I noticed this morning that the pipes that have been laid in the ice street look surprisingly like the pipes of the new organ. And I can only ask the town council to return their ill gotten drains at the earliest possible moment. I'm only so sorry the Lady Mary's cannot be present on this happy occasion, but unfortunately she met with a nasty accident on Tuesday last after the sewing bee at the King's Head, when she fell down the front steps and sprained her face. But I'm glad to say that she's now enjoying her usual spirits, and also that she's deriving great benefit on the special diet of tin salmon, which I may remind you, ladies and gentlemen, may be purchased at my emporium in the ice street at the very low figure of seven to eight and five to say fifteen both people will be taking it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have much pleasure in declaring this ground well and truly prepared to receive the foundation stone, which I hope to have the pleasure of laying whenever Lady Barton can get her hands on the lady pipe. And I can only say in conclusion that I hope I leave you one of all in the pink and five percent.